President-elect Donald Trump officially begins his transition to Commander-in-Chief today with two big events in Washington. Kenneth Craig has this look ahead for final preps for tomorrow's inauguration. President-elect Donald Trump took his private jet to Washington for a final time last night, attending a pre-inauguration dinner honoring Vice President-elect Mike Pence. The president-elect and our whole team uh, are ready to go to work, advance the kind of policies that, to borrow his phrase, will make America great again. CBS News has learned Mr. Trump's inauguration address will focus on defining what that slogan means. He's expected to focus on two broad goals, growing the economy and reducing fears about terrorism, and what's being billed as a nonpartisan populist speech. Mr. Trump will deliver pre-inauguration remarks today during a concert at the Lincoln Memorial. An estimated one million people are expected here tomorrow. Also on hand, nearly 30,000 law enforcement officials to keep them safe, including thousands of officers from across the country gearing up for massive protests. Just looking forward to being part of it and representing our city. More than 60 House Democrats will not attend the inauguration in protest. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Washington. Well, wishes for a speedy recovery are coming in from all over the country for both leaders of top political families. The 41st president, George H.W. Bush, is resting comfortably at a Houston hospital this morning. This, the 92-year-old is stable in the intensive care unit after undergoing a procedure to protect and clear his airway. He's been battling with pneumonia. His wife, 91-year-old former First Lady Barbara Bush, was also admitted to the hospital after she reported she was not feeling well. A frantic rescue effort is underway after an avalanche wiped out a luxury ski resort in central Italy. At least 30 people are missing and some of those trapped have sent text messages with desperate pleas for help. Video from inside the, ho the hotel appears to show the four-story building collapsed onto the ground floor. The avalanche hit in the wake of a series of Earthquakes and aftershocks, Alpine rescue teams plowed through a heavy snowstorm to reach the site early this morning.